she's moved out of the area and she's working a lot so she doesn't have time to do it so i have to do it myself but oh my gosh it's a lot of work but anyways yeah we're um our stores here hey judy how are you um our, our uh, businesses here are starting to, the governor has allowed us to reopen at 25% capacity. And they, um, yesterday they started allowing the nail salons and the hair salons, thank goodness, because I don't know about y'all, but, whoo, you know, the hairdo and the nails have got, <laughs> you know. Um, the store name is Shall We Stamp with the number one. So it's Shall We Stamp 1. I have one that I sell my greeting cards on, which is Shall We Stamp. Um, and I haven't uploaded too many cards. I mean, I've got cards there, but um, I think I'm going to close that one down because what I've been doing is taking all my excess cards that I don't use and I've been sending them to um, Cards for Soldiers. I think this, I think in October or November, I sent. Um, Oh, let me think about this. I sent almost 900 cards that I have made and collected over the last however many years. So, um, not too many. I've had sales on my cards through the Etsy store, but, and people are willing to pay the price plus postage. Um, but I think I'd rather just close that because it really isn't that busy and I'd rather send the cards to the, um, to the, uh, to the soldiers. So, but it's under Shall We Stamp the number one. Um, anyways, and I haven't even pulled the retired stuff for this month, plus um, to, to load on there. But I'll wait and do that once we get closer. But um, And then I may do a BOGO thing. I don't know yet. I've got that set up on, I did one last year on my Facebook uh, Facebook page. So um, I may, may do that, do a BOGO. So we'll see. I'll keep you all posted on that as well. Um, but anyway, so it's, yeah, so things are opening slowly. I did take the dog to the dog groomer yesterday, and, um, oh, she looks so much better. She was looking, looking right pitiful, and looks like she lost about five pounds of, um, uh, let me put my face on here. It looks like she lost about five pounds of um, hair, <laughs> of weight. So I've changed my cameras around again. So I'm trying to hopefully get this thing set where I can leave it in one spot and not have to mess with it. So, um, anyways, so today has been um, not too not too crazy um, busy. I was just getting prepared. I um, put my paper share out on Facebook and on my uh, newsletter. Got that out today, and then getting stuff ready for this evening, and that's about it. And then tomorrow, I'm mowing the yard at our rental house up the street. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> that's part of my retirement plan. So. Anyways, all right, let me uh, give it a few more minutes. I'm going to refresh these um, comments. And I did, um, oh, the dog is a, she's a poodle uh, terrier mix. And she's, I've got her certified as a therapy dog. We rescued her eight years ago. Riley, come here. She's laying on the floor. Come here. Wants to show everybody what you look like? Come up here. And she's, she looks really cute once her hair is cut, but oh my gosh. When we got her, her hair was so long and oh, it was terrible. Come here. Let me show, let me get your picture. Come here. Come on. Let me unhook my mic for a second so I can pick her up. I'll show you. She's a cutie. We rescued her and um come here. Let's show everybody what you look like. Oh yeah. Come here. Oh, this is this is my baby. Ugh. Here we go. Say hi everybody. Look. Right, right. Let me turn. There we go. She um we got her certified as a therapy dog. When I got her, she had such a good disposition. Why don't you look at everybody saying, see your pretty little face. So now with her whiskers cut, she looks more poodle-ish, but we try to keep the whiskers long. Um, we like them a little bit longer. They kind of, sometimes it kind of makes her look like a schnauzer. But, um, and she's normally, she's put on weight because my husband keeps giving her treats, <laughs> which are apparently fattening. So she's gained about three and a half pounds. She's up to 17 pounds and she should only be about 14, 13 to 14. Oh, you're getting a Labradoodle as a service dog. Oh, I went to the, um, the, uh, oh shoot, the, um, the place it's for the blind where they, uh, they breed and raise, uh, they uh, do the labs and the goldens and they uh, it's been gener I learned a lot generation after generation for these uh, dogs to uh, come uh, to become a service dog and they had trails out there and then I mean it's amazing when they're born within a month they're getting them walking on different surfaces to get used to it and everything so a lot of work goes into the service dogs they're much obviously mine is a therapy dog we visit 
uh, assisted living and do memory care and what a difference it makes you know I mean it's just unbelievable what a dog does for somebody and um, then we do school she's part of the read program at the elementary school which is um, it stands for reading education assistance dog and not right now because we can't go to school but normally during the school year we go every Friday and we have first graders that take turns reading to her and Riley gives homework and they're like what so I tell them when I tell them when we first meet them that uh, the dog gives homework and they look at me like I'm crazy but she listens I speak for her obviously um, but we give homework uh, she has them read to their dog or cat or stuffed animal or action figure and then um, we give a book at the end of the year to each child because one one time she was giving homework and this little boy said that he didn't have any books his age at home I don't have kids so this was all new to me and um, so I told the teacher I wanted to buy books so we get books um, for the children and Riley writes a personal message to each child uh, with their name and everything about how they well they did reading or whatever it is that they did and then she gives them one with a book marker with her picture on it at the end of the school year and I'm trying to get with the teacher to figure out how we can get that done for this year because I really don't want the kids to miss out but we'll see if I have to get them and she can I can write them and then take them to the teacher or whatever I'm not sure so we'll figure that one out but anyways that's what she does and it's um you know, I love it. It's just something I had to figure out what my purpose was in life, and I think this is it. So, okay. Well, people are slowly um, popping on, but it is now uh, seven oh seven. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll go uh, get started. Let me um, welcome everyone again. I'm Dawn Duval, and I'm located in the Villages, Florida, which is an over fifty five retirement community. It's the largest golfing community, I think, in. I don't know about the world, maybe the states, but I'm not quite sure. But anyways, that's where we live. And um, so anyways, let me flip the camera down and I'll show you what we're going to do today. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way first of all so we don't get... You know what I do? Oh, here's my card. All right, hang on a minute. Let me flip the camera. Okay, hopefully y'all can see my desk. Got my little pretty hands right there. All right, we're going to do... I'm going to start with a fun fold first only because we're going to do a box. But I'll show you that in just a minute. Let me get myself situated. Okay, so um, we're going to do, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the back on your feet, I'm pretty sure that this stamp set is carrying over into the new catalog. I'm almost confident confident that it is. So we're using that. I need a, um, a get well card for my brother who decided, my younger brother called to tell me that my older brother decided to play Evil Knievel on a motorcycle, on a dirt motorcycle, but anyways. So I um, need a, uh, a get well card for him and then one of our friends that lives in Virginia, um, his wife ha was walking the dog, They, uh, anyways, and another dog uh, came running after to play and knocked her down and she broke her leg and her, her arm or something like that. So I need two get well cards. So that's what we're going to make a get well card. <laughs> so, um, and I haven't seen this fun fold before, but um, let me get my camera. Hang on one second. Let me adjust this just a little bit. I think that's good. Let me, uh, okay. All right, so this is the turtle, and we're using gray granite, and I'm using the crackled paint, and I just want y'all to know, this is not carrying over. This is a brand new set. I just opened it yesterday, so when I go to sell this thing, someone's going to get a brand new set, <laughs> a brand new stamp. So anyway, so this is the card that we're making, and the fun fold is, is you open it, and then this little guy opens up, and then there's your message. Isn't that cute? So you can do it with circles, or you can do it with squares. You can do it with really any shape that you want. And then that just folds up like that. Isn't that nifty? I thought that was so clever. And then, now this was um, Mossy Meadow. So I'm decorating the back of my envelope because we want those to look pretty as well. So that's what we're going to make uh, first off. And then the second thing we're going to make is, uh, and we'll do the card first, but the second thing we're going to use... Uh, some new paper and stamps from the new catalog. So this is called um, Celebrate Sunshine. And you probably have seen some of the, um, maybe some of the, some cards made with it or not. But this is, isn't that beautiful? This is part of uh, one of the new papers. This is the sunflower set called Celebrate uh, sunflowers and I'll show you here hang on one second let me move all this stuff out of the way I have it I'm trying to be organized for you guys um, this one 
comes as a bundle. So here is the stamp set. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the sunflower. Isn't that pretty? And then you got this little one here, and then some leaves, and then um, four different sayings. Isn't that pretty? And then look at this. These are the dies. Oh my goodness. You get nine dies. We're using this one and this one. I've already pre-cut everything. I think I did. Pretty sure. Yeah. Um, so the only thing if you look at, and I'll show you, is making sure you line those up. So I'm not stamping anything. We don't have the inks available yet for the um, the in colors. So um, I'm just doing it plain, and we're using this die here, which is this um, I did in... Uh, terracotta tile so that's what we'll be doing when we make this cute bag. isn't that cute cute and it's a pretty good size bag look at that I mean that's a pretty good size so that's what we're gonna make for the second round all right so let me put this up and uh, get that out of the way and let me pull in let's see let me get organized okay so for the um, for the card that we're gonna make for the turtle where did I do with him hang on a second I just laid him down somewhere Oh, here he is. Nope, that's not it. Hang on. Oh, here he is. <laughs> okay, so it's a regular um, eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock, and we're using the uh, gray granite. Now, I'm using the largest um, stitch uh, stitch framelit die, the circle. So I'm using the largest one for the turtle. That's what we're going to cut out for the turtle. And I'm going to use a different color than what I did here. And then for um, then on the front of the card, you want to cut, um, I'm using the layered circle dies, and you want one just slightly bigger to cut out the hole. So that way when you open it, this little guy can pop through or pop out. Okay. So you want to use the um, Whatever you use for the inside piece, whether it be a square or a circle, just go one size up to cut your hole in the front so that uh, when you open the card, that item, you know, you'll be able to see the, um, the item. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. We don't need that. I've already cut. I went ahead and did that. These are the new end colors if you haven't seen them. And I'm, uh, let's see. This is, gonna, I think, going to be my favorite color. This is called, oh... Uh, uh, just jade. I love that. Um, bumblebee. This is magenta mine uh, Magnus, and that is like really bright. I don't know if you can see. Look how bright that is. Woo! And uh, cinnamon cider, which we're going to use that for the box and the sunflower. And then this is called um, misty moonlight. So that's the misty moonlight. These are the in color sheets that are six by six. But we're going to go with the um. I figured we'd do the turtle a little bit different. We're going to use the um, Just Jade. So we're going to use that uh, card, uh, piece of uh, designer paper for our little flappy-do thing. So I'm going to set that aside. Now, I went ahead and pre-cut my circles because I didn't want to hold you all up with the, with the big shot and all that stuff. Now, um, <clears throat> so when you cut your circle, you're going to do a white, and I am going to stamp this, and we are going to color it. And then I cut out another one with a coordinating color to put on the back. So you'll see how we do that, okay? All right, so um, let me, because I don't think we need the paper. Oh, we do need the paper cutter. So let me go ahead and do that. We're going to use this piece here. And it's kind of got like a wood look or it's got uh, writing. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. So we'll do it this way. I'm going to cut one inch, okay? So this is the six by six piece. I'm just going to cut one inch off. Let me turn my uh, paper, turn my around. Um, so let me just cut one inch off and then that way we can get this mess out of the way and then we can get started and we're going to pull out the um, Stamparatus. I haven't used that little thing in a long time. So all right, so we're going to do one inch. Let me get make sure that's right All right, so we got one inch. So we're going to cut that and then that's all we need the paper trimmer for for now So we're just going to move all this out of the way. We will bring that back when we get ready to do the bag Okay, so I'm bringing in the Stamparatus and I'm going to ink up my crackled stamp. Now I've already got it placed in there. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So we, I'm sorry, pull my arms. All right, and we are going to, um, I'm gonna use the gray granite ink. So we're gonna go ahead and ink this up. And then I'm gonna stamp that on the front of the card. I'm just gonna lay it in there and get the ink on the front, okay? Um, actually, I may, yeah, I may do it, leave it closed, because no one's going to see it underneath anyway, so I think that's what we'll do. All right, so let me get my ink there. I'm going to lay this, 
and I don't really want to put my magnet on it because oh I can do it this way because I'm afraid it's not going to uh, get it all the way down so let's just put it right on the edge there and hopefully that holds it and that should cover yep that should cover it I haven't used my Stamparatus in a long time I don't know what I was thinking um, anyways all right so I've already got this mounted on here and all I'm gonna do is walk my ink uh, pad around and again this is the gray granite so it's going to blend in with our cardstock and I'm just going to walk it around so I can make sure I got the ink on it all right and then I'm going to close this up because we're not going to use this anymore so I don't get it and then I'm just going to shut this and I'm sure you all have used the stamparatus before let's make sure that we're going to be all the way nope hang on a minute let me make them because I didn't hold on let me make sure I hold up make sure I get him covered really good because we don't want to miss up miss anything and you could put more um, magnets on here but I'm always afraid that they're not gonna uh, they're not going to hang on I gotta pull it down um, it if it gets in the way of your stamp then it's not gonna cover your ink it's gonna have a little spot there but we'll just try to do one little corner I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit to make sure that we've got it positioned it's a nice thing about that you can see my head and I'm gonna huff on it <sighs> and we're gonna press this little guy down so we're just gonna press it down walk our fingers across it make sure the ink transfer is really good and um, I really need to pull this thing out I you know I, I, I use these in my classes but I haven't used them in like probably a year which I feel bad so I need to it sometimes it's just easier to pull out a block you know than have to pull this thing out and then switch the I don't know I got to get back in the habit of using it so do you all use the um, use the Stamparatus or do you all have that oh Linda don't worry about hubby comes first <laughs> I know it's bad that I do it around dinner time for some folks okay so hopefully that's covered and it did okay we missed a spot right there and I think it's because of that so what I'm gonna do I'm going to ink this up again. That's the nice thing about the Stamparatus is that, uh, let's see, it's going to be over here, right? Is that we can just re-ink everything. And I'm going to move, I am going to move this um, magnet out of the way. And I'm going to slide this over just a little bit because we didn't get that edge there. And if it looks, um, it's going to be crackled, so it doesn't really, I don't think it's going to matter. There we go. So we'll just push that down, make sure we got that. I think we'll be good. Well, that's a little busy, don't you think? Yeah, it's a little busy. Let's pull out another sheet of paper. Hang on a minute. I got it right here. Let me grab it. I guess we will be pulling out our um, cutter. Good thing I got paper close by. All right. Let's try this one more time. I don't think I can send that to my brother. He'll probably look at me and think I'm crazy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cut this guy real quick. All right, let's just cut this in half. We're going to do eight and a half uh, for those that are just joining. Eight and a half by five and a half. So let me get it up to the five and a half mark. This is when you learn to um, do it on the fly. Oh, I'm going to have to cut it again. I don't know if I want to do that. You know what? Because my big shot's in the other room. We're just going to have to go with this one. That's okay. No biggie. Not a big deal. I'll just make another one later. This just gives you the idea of what it's going to look like. Okay. See, we all make, you know, make boo-boos and you're just going to roll with it, which is fine. Not a big deal. Okay, so this is the card that we're making in case for those, whoops, for those that just joined. It's a fun fold, so that opens up like that, it closes, and then you open it up and that pops open. Okay, all right, so we're going to use that new Just Jade. So I'm going to, um, we're going to lay our, the first thing we're going to do, I'm not going to glue that down yet. You're going to take one inch uh, piece of designer series paper and push it in. I'm using the uh, uh, banner punch, the triple banner punch here. So we're going to push that in and then cut it because we want a little banner here. Now what we're going to do, so before we do anything, and then we'll stamp our turtle and start covering him, we want to lay this down. We're going to get our uh, end piece, our inside piece, just layered basically where you think it's going to go. And then we're going to lay this right up to the edge because we want, before we adhere it, so we want to be able to have that go through, right? So I'm going to lay it right up to the edge and make sure that it's in the center, which it is. So all I'm going to do now is take this off and flip fold this back. 
and then I'll adhere it down, okay? So that's the only thing I just, it's just kind of eyeballing where you want it to go. If you want it to be a little bit more um, specific, you can measure it out, but I'm just gonna lay it there, fold it, and then we're gonna put, um, put that on there. I guess we're gonna go with the words now that I did that, okay. All right, so that's that part, all right? So now we can go ahead and attach this to the inside, but before we do that, we wanna stamp it. So let's hold off on that. Let me go ahead and stamp my turtle, and we're gonna do some weird colors with him. <laughs> we're gonna stamp him in memento black, and I'm gonna use the um, mint macaron and the crumb cake blends. I think the mint macaron will look nice with that just uh, jade ink. So let's, uh, whoops, let's ink up our turtle, and let's get him on here, and we'll do some quick uh, blend, blending with him. Okay, so let me just wipe him off real quick. Clean him up. All right. I'll close that up because, you know, get, I'll get ink all over. Okay, so let's, um, and there's no right or wrong way, I guess, on using your blends. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to do his belly in the, in the crumb cakes. I start with the dark, personally, but you can do whatever you want. And I usually take the pencil or the blend and I take wherever the um, artist has drawn these little lines and that's what I use to do my accents and then the dark color and then I come back with the light to blend over it. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Let's see if that brings it down some or not. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to, this won't take long. I'm just going to do some lines in the dark on his belly or his shell of his belly I guess I'm just gonna make some little lines and then I'll come back and um, we'll color those with the lighter color and I'm gonna use the smaller tip because I use the big tip so much that I'm gonna have to probably get some more to order them and I just make little swirls and again it's however you want it you know whatever you do to make um, your coloring Again, there's no right or wrong way. And the more you color, the darker your image will get. And I don't know if turtles have brown bellies or not. I know we had a turtle, we live on a, uh, what they call a retention pond, where they take the water from it in our back and use it for, we pay to use that to water our grass. Can you believe that? But anyways, so we have turtles out there. We have lots of um, animals. We have, a tur we have an alligator, which I posted a picture for him today. He decided to come up towards our backyard. And um, the other day, he had gotten a turtle. And in his mouth, oh my God, it was so big. It was a big turtle. I mean, I am not exaggerating. The thing had to be, I mean, it was humongous. And that alligator was fighting, trying to get him in his mouth. All right, now I'm going to take the dark mint macaron, and I'm going to go around... Um, well, our turtle's going to be, he's going to be a minty colored turtle. The one I saw out in the water was kind of beigey. Um, but anyway, so the alligator had the turtle in his mouth the other day, and I about, oh, it was just horrible. I hated seeing that. But anyways, there was one out there today swimming, and I kept, you know, yelling, get, hurry up, because I don't want the alligator to get you. And he was kind of brown. He looked like a goldy color, like a bronze, not quite bronze, because he was really lighter. But he was just taking his little time swimming around. I was like, oh my gosh, the alligator's going to come and get him. I'm going to be upset. But anyways, he made it. He made it to the bank. They come up in sun. Apparently the alligators do that too. And I guess when they get done eating, that's my understanding. They come up to the sun so that they can um, digest their food. That's what I heard. All right, so now I'm just going to color in my turtle. And I'm using the light mint macaron, and I'm just going to go over in circles and blend. And I think I'm going to like, um, I've got my iPad set up on this um, Acron, I'm using an Acron stand, which I think Janet Moore, uh, Wakelin uh, designed it. Uh, who's a, one of the uh, one of the top demonstrators, and um, it's got a. Um, I bought the one that has a ho holder that you can put your iPad in at the bottom, and I think um, I think that's going to work better because I can now you can see me, and then I can not have to sit up on a, like a booster seat when I had it arranged the other way, which it was kind of high. So, anyways, hopefully that works. Um, Anyway, so do you all um, have this stamp set? Do you have this? Um, I just love this little guy. I did um, 
I did the my friend's uh, husband just finished up his cancer treatment so he had um, cancer on his behind his ear in his neck area and so I sent him um, the giraffe picture that said um, you're in a knot or something I thought that would be kind of comical he liked it he put it he had gotten cards his wife said he'd gotten cards from other people but my card went next to the bed Dave, um, that's my best friend's husband. He, um, I've known them for, uh, showing my age, 30 some years, I think, 30, 30 years, 31 maybe. She and I um, worked together back in 1987. I was an assistant manager at a bank and she was a teller. All right, so, oh, that, you know, really, that color doesn't look too bad. I'm going to color his little feet. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I'm going to color up his little feet dark. I'm going to give him some brown bottoms and some brown toes. So I'm just going to do some little dots there. Hopefully I don't go out of the line too much. Um, all right, we'll color this little foot. And I think I'm going to come back with a little bit more <clears throat> of the dark color. I just want to make, I just want to get a little bit more accents on his shell. I think that would probably make it look pretty. So let's just do one more of these and then then we'll move on. Because I know no, y'all don't want to be spending your night with me. Okay. <clears throat> so we got that and then we'll just do a quick blend again. I just love this. Whoever came up with this, um, those people are so creative. You know what? That can design stamps and stuff. I swear I'm, I can't do that. They always um, put out, ask for help when they're trying to design new stamp sets. And they ask us for um, ideas for certain type, what kind of sentiments we'd like to see. And um, they were asking, put something out, I think it was yesterday or last week, that they're looking for some sentiments for, um, I can't remember what kind of stamp set. But anyways, well, it's nice that they asked for our input. Okay, I think that's enough coloring on the turtle. So, um, up. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, my, my best friend just popped on and she said the card she gave him when he finished chemo, I think chemo or radiation is still sitting in the car. So, what does that tell you? I'm a little bit more special than the wife is. <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to bring this back in. Now, before we um, attach this, let me get my stamp out because we're going to stamp on here. Um, hope you're back on your feet again because my brother, well, both of them actually have... Um, broken parts of their body so and i think um i think joanne's i think it was her leg actually so we're gonna uh do this as a um hope you're back on your feet again so let me get my block over here and we'll put this on and i think i'm gonna stamp this in black on the insides so i'm gonna put it right underneath where that um the banner goes so it'll be kind of like a surprise uh let's see yep so i'm just gonna stamp it um, and it doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to stamp it right about there. And I don't really have anything else in the in this set that we can stamp. So we'll just leave it like that. And then that gives me room so that I can write a note to him. So let me clean that off. This is a pretty quick and easy, um, <clears throat> easy thing, uh, card to make. All right, so we're just going to attach our glue to the back. And it's my favorite green, green glue. I'm getting better at using it. Trying not to put too much on there. All right, I like to make the squigglies. Okay, so let's attach that. And we'll get that on here. Excuse me for a second. Let me get that. There we go, perfect. All right, so we've got that down. Now, we're gonna get some dimensionals. And uh, are we gonna do dimensionals? No, we're going to not do dimensionals. All right, so my card's flat. So I'm going to take my turtle, and I'm going to lay him right there so that that looks good. So I'm just going to put some adhesive right here. And then that way, we'll get him to attach to that. And then our card, it, basically, that's that on the card, except for putting the back to the turtle. So we're going to we're gonna attach him just like that. So, you know, again, you can do squares. You can do circles. You can do any, um, you know, any design, any shape that you want. All right, so there's that. Now, when we open it, ta-da! 
Now, so we have this right here, right? So we're going to take a circle of the same color, which is that new Just Jade. This is going to be one of my new favorite colors because green is my favorite color. And uh, let me attach, uh, put the glue on here. I like how I've got my um, camera work uh, set up now because I think y'all can see things much better. So it takes, takes a little bit of time. All right, so we're going to add this on here. And the nice thing about the liquid glue is it gives you time to move it around and adjust it if you need it. That way, this cleans that up. Let me um, just shut that. That kind of cleans up the back so when you open the card, they don't see... Um, they don't see the back of the of, of the turtle. Well, go, I'm glad you used your Stamparatus. Uh, it's got to. Yeah, I'm gonna start using mine more. I need to. It's um, it's it's crazy. Not, I mean, I keep pulling out blocks and everything, and which doesn't make sense, right? So, okay. So those that are just joining, um, my crackle is not supposed to look this crackled. This is what it should look like, but I um. I had to stamp it again and I just over stamped it but actually I don't think it looks that bad and I don't think my brother would probably know any different anyways so there's the card it's got our little turtle with our um, laying on his back and then we just open it up and that pops out and it says hope you're back on your feet soon so there you go that's our card very simple and easy just a one inch strip of designer paper cut out whatever your um, circle or square and then just do one slightly bigger on the outside of your card and then you're good to go that's very simple all right so that's the first card so let's move that out of the way and we'll put those over there so that's far enough for me so it's out of my way all right now <clears throat> for those that are joining this is what we're going to make next this is a bag using our new um celebrate sunflowers stamp set i'm going to pull my notes out so i can give you all the instructions we are going to work with now i'm not sure uh what i want to do so i'll have to ask y'all's advice on this this is our new um bumblebee and um cinnamon ci cider cinnamon is that right hang on a minute i gotta look at the um, names yeah, cinnamon cider, which is, uh, we're going to use that paper. And I'm not sure for our um, tag, uh, for the string handles, which one I want to use. And I need to, give me one second, I forgot to bring the hole punch. Hold on one second, let me grab that. Hang on, I'm a coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Sorry about that. I had everything here but the hole punch. All right, so um, again, this is the set we're using. This is new. It will be available June 3rd. Celebrate sun, uh, sunflowers. And then this is, you can buy it as a bundle and get your 10% discount. It comes with nine dies. So the first thing that we're going to do let me pull out my stuff that I need because I've already run, run everything through the big shot. So let me move the flower over there. We'll put that over there out of the way because we don't need this stuff just yet. All right. And this is a good size bag too. I mean, you can put a, like a little bottle of liquor in there or a hand lotion, um, hand lotion, perfume, anything like that. So, all right, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me get my stuff together. All right, so we are going to take an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and let me move some of this out of my way we're going to use uh, um, I've already ran the sunflower on the bumblebee uh, paper so this is the one without any stamping it's the one that look it looks like it doesn't that look like a saw like a saw a um, table saw ah I just saw that and then this one uh, is in terracotta tile and now the trick to this when we get there is you got to line this thing up but here's what you've got to look for see these little pieces right here there's these like couple extra like three and twos that's what you want to look for on this thing and you'll see them right there that's how we're going to line it up that kind of gets you an idea of where you need to start so you can get your um, top part to line up correctly so it might take us a minute to do that and then uh, we'll glue it down actually I'm pretty close so but anyways we'll work on that in just a minute okay so the first thing we're going to do is bring our paper cutter in because we've got to do some scoring all right 
Okay, so we're going to start with an 8.5 by 11. Let me get my uh, arm open up here. Hang on a second. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can get my, my paper trimmer down. All right, so we're going to do some scoring. So on the 11 inch side, we want to <clears throat> score at a half an inch. So since uh, the trimmer, we have this right side that goes up to, um, it looks like one and a quarter maybe. So we want to do, uh, what, do we, what did I say? A half an inch. So we want to go to the half inch mark, which will be right here. So I'm going to line that up for a half an inch. And we're going to pull the scoring blade down. Hang on a minute. All right, so we're going to score that. Okay, then we're going to move over to two and a quarter. Now I'm going to flip this thing around only because my camera stuff's in the way. So I'm going to have to maneuver my um, table here. All right, so we're going to move it over to uh, two and a quarter. So am I in the camera? Yeah. So we want to go to two and a quarter. So we're going to score at two and a quarter. And then we're going to move that over to five and three quarters. So we're going to get that over to five and three quarters. And then we want to move it over to seven and a half. All right. And then we're going to score that. Okay. Now we're going to turn it. All right. And then after you turn it, we're going to score at one and three quarters. So let me get over here. One and three quarters, which is right about there. And always make sure you get your tops and bottoms lined up. I know I'm not in the camera where you can see that, but make sure your tops and bottoms are lined up up so that's one and three quarters and I always go back and forth because I find that this um, scoring blade um, I have to push a little bit harder than normal and then we're going to move it over to seven and three quarters okay so that seven and three quarters we're going to move this over and we'll score right there all right so I'll just review that for you on the 11 inch side we're going to do a half an inch two and a quarter five and three quarters and seven and a half okay and then we'll turn it and on the eight and a half which is going to be at the top we're going to score at one and three quarters and seven one and three quarters and seven and three quarters okay all right so that's that that's all we need for the cutter so let's move that out of the way and we'll put him right there okay so then of course the next thing that we want to do i'm going to move this out of the way too we're going to fold our score lines um so let's go ahead and do that and burnish those all right so we'll go through i'm going to do the sides first sometimes it's easier and then burnish those i swear my husband is making popcorn again every night he does this while i'm when in here it drives me crazy because i smell the popcorn and it smells so good oh my gosh all right so this is the half inch side so we're gonna burnish that all right okay and now we're gonna go ahead and, and fold on the inside line so we'll just get all these burnished and then I'll go through the cutting and this really is an easy box when you once you see how easy it goes together I don't normally make a lot of boxes but I really do like this one it's be, be I think one because it's a nice size okay all right so the first thing we're going to do on this half inch side all right this is our top up here the the smaller see how we got the larger ones down here the smaller one is going to be the top but this half inch side i have over here i'm going to go ahead i'm going to cut off the corners each corner where it uh, comes up to that score line and i'm going to um, cut it just at a little bit out of an angle and then we're going to take this off okay so we'll get rid of him and then we're going to get rid of this one over here and again I'm just doing it at an angle because it's just easier sometimes to fold that way okay all right so we got rid of those so those can go away now on the top part the smaller side up at the top we're going to go ahead and cut up to the score line on our folds and I, I don't know if y'all can see this but hopefully you can so I'm going to just cut each um, up now some of these you may have to um, cut in just a little bit now these we won't have to because they're just going to go they're going to be folded flat and uh, but the bottom ones we won't we will want to do like a little angle cut okay now so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut our holes which i thought was right clever now i on this one i used a i don't know if it's um what did i do with my little punch now hang on 
I don't even know what size. Oh, this is three eighths of an inch circle. This one up is probably a little bit too big. I'm gonna try my crocodile thingy or whatever this hole puncher thing. I'm gonna try that. That may not the hole might not be quite um, as big, but we'll try and see. If not, I'll just redo it. So I'm gonna fold these down. And whichever, um, whichever item you're going to use to cut your holes, you just want to do it. Now, I'm not sure if I can do it with this. You know what? I'm going to do this because you want to cut, you want to fold it. So you want to cut it on the, um, on the fold. And I'm thinking if I do that hole punch, that's just going to punch a hole through it. And that's not going to work. So I'm just going to eyeball. You want to punch two holes. This is where we're going to put our handles here and here okay so I'm just gonna push this in and I'm just gonna put a little I'm just gonna make a little um, notch so basically when I'm done with this stamp uh, this punch I'm sorry is lined up exactly with the end of the cardstock can you see that I don't know if you can see that or not okay so I'm just gonna do a little notch there whoops I push them oh that piece went flying and then I'm gonna do one right about here because this is gonna be our handles and again just eyeball it it doesn't have to be exact whatever you know whatever works for you and then we're gonna fold this one down as well because this is gonna be our other side that's gonna have a handle so again I'm just gonna do a little notch hopefully they're not too big and I'll do one on this side as well okay I got cinnamon uh, cinnamon cider popping all over the place okay so that's done now we're going to put some tear in, um, some we're gonna put some tear and tape down but first of all now what do you all think and I know I've got to do this before we attach everything should we do I think we should do the yellow because I think this is too much I think I'm gonna go with the yellow what do you think because that's gonna be on the front so I think we should do yellow so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> you know what Whoever gets this is going to appreciate it, so it really doesn't matter. On um, the other box, I used that braided twine. I don't believe that's carrying over. I think that's going away. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, let's put some tear and tape down first. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to tear, put our tear and tape down, and we're going to put it down on all um, areas, which I thought this is really quite clever, actually. And all right, so we're going to tear that. Normally, I cut these things, and then because uh, that's just how I am. So we're going to put this down here, and then we'll come back and we'll feed our uh, ribbon through, and then we'll use this to help hold it down. I'm going to cut this because I don't want it to go too far. All right, so let's do that, and we'll put some a little piece right here. So this, you just you want your tear and tape because that's going to be your stronger tape that's going to help hold this down. Okay, and then we'll put one more piece on this side. All right. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy um, these Facebook Lives, and I hope you learn something. I do, because I'm trying to find something different to do every week for you guys. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm not going to pull the tape off yet. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull my ribbon through. So I'm just going to push it through um, the hole. And you can see that hole is probably a little bit too big, but that's all right. So I think what we'll do, and we're just going to uh, make, we're just going to pull in. Let me just cut some off. And we'll figure out, and then we'll then we'll tear off the tape and, and uh, hold to hold it down. So let's push that through. Which actually... It's not that, um, really not that difficult. Okay, I think that'll look cute because that will go with the yellow. All right, I think we'll leave it about like that, we think. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm going to lift up this tape, and then we're going to use that. And I know I should have my pick-me-up pick tool or take, take a pick tool, but I forgot to bring it over here, so that's all right. Let me move this out of the way. We'll pull this up and get him where I want my handles, and we're just going to press them down. Isn't that nifty? Look at that. It's gonna be right clever all right let's go ahead and pull this one up too that way when we put the uh, pull the ribbon through we'll be ready to lay it down hang on a second okay pull that off all right so we're gonna push our other one through and try not to get it to stick on here yet until I'm ready so I'm just gonna pull it through and um, I should be able to lift him let's uh, trim up a piece here this is a twill um, ribbon. I really like the feel of it, and it's it's going to be one of those that's going to be easy to tie bows. So if you're bow challenged like I am, it's going to make us look like we know what we're doing. 
What do you think about that? People are going to think that we are just so crafty. Think They always say, you're so creative. I'm like, huh, you only knew. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, all right. So, all right. So, I'm going to push these down. And I think I've got my loops pretty much even. At least I hope so. And I'm going to push those down. Now, I'm going to come back with the scissors because I don't. we don't need to have all this excess. So I'm just going to trim some of these off just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so we don't have any excess, you know, stuff hanging in here. No one's going to see it, but still, let's push that over there. All right. Now we can go ahead and fold these down. Whoops. Fold these down. Fold that one down. All right. Now we're going to pull off the other two. I'm telling you, this is really an easy box. I mean, it's going to, what a great, you know, to have to, to put a small gift in. And we'll just go ahead and flap that. Isn't that clever? I just love the way that um, whoever designed this. I copied this from Wendy um, Cranford, I think it was. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut up these because um, this is going to be the bottom of our of our box. So I'm going to cut up to the score line, and I could have done this before, but I just wanted to leave it until we got ready to put it together. And then we're going to flip it over and add our um, designer paper too before we uh, do anything else so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do an angle cut here just a little bit i never seem to be able to cut where i don't get exactly on the score line and this will just make it easier for us to um when we get ready to fold these flaps in they won't be in the way okay so um it's a trick that i see other people do and it works so that's what i'm doing all right, so we're just going to cut this one because you can see I'm a little bit off on that score line of where I cut it up, which is okay. And we'll just pull that one off, and I think that's good. All right, so now before we um, – and we're going to put some uh, tear and tape on the outside of that. But the next thing we're going to do, we're going to flip it over, and we're going to bring our trimmer back in because we're going to cut two pieces of designer paper. And I'm using the in colors, the new um, – cinnamon cider and this has got um it's kind of got like lines through it if y'all can see that and then the back side it's kind of like a roughed up i really like that kind of not a grunge but you know kind of like that so we're gonna we're gonna we need two pieces so i'm gonna cut them together and they're we're gonna cut these at three and a quarter so we're gonna cut these two pieces because they're thin enough we should we should be able to do that so we're going to cut these at three and a quarter so if you're taking notes three and a quarter make sure that's all lined up and if you don't want if you don't like cutting them together you don't have to whoops look at that three and a quarter there we go all right so that's three and a quarter so we're going to cut those and then we're going to move this off to the side and we're going to turn and then we're going to cut this at five and a quarter okay so we're going to cut this down to five and a quarter get my fingers up here um i'm so glad i've got a nail appointment on thursday so i'm mowing the yard tomorrow at the other house and then i get my nails done thursday and thank goodness friday i'm getting my hair cut <laughs> i'll be a whole new person next week and we're going to cut that so it's three and a quarter by five and a quarter and you need two pieces okay and we're gonna whoops move that and we'll keep this because these now these we can use to decorate the back of our envelopes you you only need let me show you on the one that i did with the green um i was cutting a lot more but if you don't want to waste all you need is like two and a quarter and look you glue that on the back which this is about two and a quarter right glue that to the back and then just trim up around your paper and that's how you get the back of your envelope so rather than you know you don't want to waste it just use it to decorate the envelope all right so we're going to move this out of the way i might as well leave that there okay and now we're going to attach these to the front of our um of our card i mean our box so obviously we know and i'm going to leave the dots up because i think those look pretty so let's go ahead and use my favorite glue I always say that I probably shouldn't say that I do like it or I wouldn't use it I tell you what it saves on my snail because I tell you I when I make cards I mailed oh my gosh yesterday I think I mailed I don't know 15 cards I had birthday cards I sent out I sent some um, thank you cards to customers who placed orders and Tomorrow, I don't know if I have time tomorrow, but Thursday, I will be doing um, 
happy mail so if you're not on my happy mail list you might want to send me an email or a facebook message and give me your address tell me you want some happy mail i'll be more than happy to send you some happy mail all right and then we're going to place this one on here so hopefully I've, i can get them lined up obviously they're going to be on the front and the back so it's not going to matter if they're not quite even because no one's going to really see the back i mean you know, you know what i'm saying okay so we got those on there all right so far so good Okay, now we're gonna flip it back. I'm gonna put tear and tape on that little half inch side, right? Once I find my tear and tape. Okay. Are y'all still there? You haven't gone to sleep to sleep yet, have you? We'll be done here shortly. It won't be too much longer. How long have we been on here? Oh, almost an hour. Well, me running my mouth, but anyways. Okay, so we're gonna put our tear and tape right here. And I like these kinds of um, boxes or folds because you just fold it over. You don't have to worry about getting, you know, everything straight. So you just wanna fold it. Once I take the tape off, I wanna make sure I got this crease good, right? Um, and right here, see right here, this is the one thing I forgot to tell you. These things, you might wanna trim these up a little bit as well because that's a little excess, so it's it's gonna give it a little bit of a hard time closing. So I'll just go through here, and this is what I did on the other one. And you can do it after you cut it, but just um, you can just go through with your snips and just snip off a little bit so it has a little bit of um, movement so that when you fold it, it's not uh, getting in the way of it uh, folding flat, okay? So we'll just snip some of that off. And that's good. So no one's going to see. Whoops. Let me get that all the way. All right. So, um, and if you think about it, just make a note and put that in your um, your instructions just to cut that part off. That way to fold better. So when I fold it down flat, see, it'll be, this folds much nicer. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull off our tear and tape and close our box. I have to use my, um, uh, there we go, get my snips on there. There we go, pull those off. All right, so I'm just going to fold it over, get my string out of there, my, and then hopefully it, get it, make sure it's level and even. Oops, hang on. Got to make sure we get it flat. As you know, once you do that tear and tape, it doesn't come off. So let's get it up here and make sure. There we go. All right, so just roll that. Look at that. There we go. Now, so I want to see where the back of my box is. All right, so see right here is where my box. Now, see, I didn't um, put enough glue there, so I'll add, let me just add a little bit of, um, I should. I didn't put any um, tear tape right there, and I should have. So let me put some of this green glue and get that on there so we can get it to hold. All right, so um, what you want to do, well, I'm just going to hold this for a second, and then I'll wipe that clean. Um, let me push it down. All right, so we know that this is the back of the box, right? So what I want to do then, I want this to be my front. So um, once this holds, I think that's good. I'll go back and fix it. Hang on a second, let me just squish it down for a minute. We'll squash it down, let it hold. I didn't put my tear and tape all the way down, but that's all right. I could have put a piece there, but that's okay. And I'll wipe the glue off. Okay, so this is my back. So what I wanna do is I want my front Okay, so if my back, let me get my box this way. So if the back of the box is here, then I want to close my lid and have the front panel at the bottom go towards the back as well so that the seams in the front are all smooth seams, uh, seams okay? So what I'll do, and we can put tear and tape on this as well because if you decide to put something in here that might be a little bit heavy, then... Um, Let's just, we'll put it on this side, probably be easier. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so we'll just put some um, tear and tape at the top here and get that on there. And then we'll tear, pull another piece off and put that towards the top. And then we can close this. I got a little bit extra there, so let's cut that off. And um, that way you've got some good stability in the bottom of your box. So always try to fold your bottom towards the back so all your seams go in the same direction. And the front of your box will look nice and pretty. I'm trying to get the glue off my fingers. Okay, so um, let's get those down. Make sure, yep, that's the back. So I'm going to tear this off, pull this off.
All right, and then we're gonna pull this one off. And you could uh, glue these down if you wanted to as well, but I don't think that's important. So you wanna make sure it stays squared, right? So I'm gonna hold it to where it's squared, and I'm going to push this down. And there we go. All right, so then I can just stick my hands down in here, make sure it's all nice and tight. And then this will be our front of the box, which will look all nice and pretty. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we're just gonna decorate it. Now I cut out the um, sunflower, which we're now gonna have to glue that together. Um, I cut out a couple of the leaves that come in the set as well, and a little center mark that we'll put in um, the center of our flower. So the next thing we need to do, as soon as I move all my paper, trash out of the way um, is get the silicone mat out of the way see I can't even pick anything up because I broke two of my fingernails <sighs> imagine that all right so we'll bring our silicone mat in and now we're going to attach this little guy <coughs> pardon me to the saw blade I'm gonna call it the saw blade so if you look if you can see on here See that mark right there? Look at this one. I think we might be close as far as getting them lined up. Because see how it goes out and then one's in and then one's out? So we might be able to get those lined up pretty easily. So if I lay that there and hold it, look at that. So that's going to work perfectly. So I'm going to lay this down like this. So that way I know that that side is going to go there. So I'm going to take my uh, liquid glue, my Tombow, and I'm if I can get it, I think... Hopefully I got glue in here still. Hang on, I might have used them all up. There we go. Um, I'm gonna put some here, and then I'm just gonna go around. Um, it's gonna take me a minute, just bear with me. Um, and I'm gonna try to do little dabs. Now I got too much. Um, little dabs on here so that it can hold down and um, we'll get it on there so it can hold. And I'm just gonna try to put dabs where I see some areas that have got a little bit more room that I can put the glue on because we don't want it you know oozing out obviously and I'll just hold that with my fingers so we'll just go around now I did think about which I should have done is use the um, which I think we're coming back with it uh, the paper that you can cut it out with the backing and then you peel that sheet off and we carried it I don't think it was in last catalog but the one before um, the sticky paper that you can that way you just peel it off and stick it down um, I should have done that because that stuff works perfect for things like this, right? All right, so I think that's probably good enough for now, and then um, I can always go back and attach it if I need to. All right, so we're going to pick this little this guy up, and I'm going to let me turn my mat over because I don't want that glue getting on here. All right, so we're going to line up my uh, blades, which I think are going to go right like that. All right, hang on a second. Um, so this is the one thing before you start gluing you want to make sure you got it laid out right so I think that's right look at that I think that's gonna be perfect isn't that pretty now I put a little bit too much glue but we'll um, we'll just kind of get rid of that and hide it so wipe it off and then I'll get my eraser um, if any gets in the way don't you love this this is terracotta tile I love this color it's really pretty. I did put a little bit too much glue in some of these areas, but that's okay. And once it dries, it should be fine. So there's our flower. Now I'm going to take the little brown. Um, this is early espresso. And again, this is one of the dyes. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on, around the edge of this. I think my bottle's getting low. We'll just put a little bit there. Actually, I could have put it in the center of here. All right, so we're going to put that in there. Almost done, ladies. Put that there. So, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I just love this. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add our leaves and then we need to do a sentiment. So I'm gonna put some snail on the back so I can attach my leaves that I cut out. And what I'm gonna do, that's a brand new snail and he doesn't seem like he's working right, does it? Um, I think I'm just gonna attach them on the back and I don't know, there's no right or wrong way. I'm just attaching them. I'm not a florist, that's for sure. <laughs> um, let me see the right side. There we go. I'm just going to attach a couple of these, maybe make one look smaller than the other, and then bring another one in. So, 
Uh, he need, he's a little too far away, I think. Let's make him a little closer. I think that'll... No, nope, I'll get him a little closer. I don't know. That looks kind of funny. Let's pull him down. I think that'll look all right. All right, so we'll have that like that. Now we're going to put some dimensionals on the back. Let me find my dimensionals. They're somewhere around. Oh, they're right in front of me. All right, so let's put some dimensionals on the back. And I'll put some on here just to help hold those little guys down as well. And then we're going to attach this to our uh, bag. And then we will do our sentiment and we will be done with our bag. So pretty easy, really, when you, um, you know, it's all, when people say they're not creative, I always, you know, of course, I'm not either. But I tell everyone, it's all in the tools that you use, you know. Um, it's all in, in, in the tools, and it makes us look like we know what we're doing. So I think, um, I think next week I might do just what we call SIP, stamps, ink, and paper, and just, um, let, me, let me glue this guy down, uh, and just kind of go back to do some basic cards. I think that might be nice. All right, so let's attach him. Now make sure we got the right front of our bag. And all right, there's our bottom. So I'm going to place that, I think right, oh, I think that does look good. What do y'all think? All right, so we're going to place that right there. Yeah, I think the yellow handles are going to be the hit, the hit of the show. All right, so the next thing we've got to do is stamp our sentiment. Not that scratch piece of white right here. And I think we're going, we're going to use terracotta tile. I think, um... We need to, yeah, I want to pu pull some of that in. I think too much cinnamon might be a little much. And let's use the, let's see, let's get the stamp set out. Oh, that's not it. What did I do with it? Oh, here he is. Hang on. Um, I'm going to use a punch. So, let's see what we've got in here. How about, will that fit? I don't know if thanks a bunch will fit or not. Let's see. No, Lord, no. Thanks a bunch is a big one. All right, let's go with um, Know That You Are Loved. How's that? So let me get my block. All right. Okay. All right, so let's stamp this in terracotta tile. And then we'll punch it out. Let me get it down here so you all can see me. Oops. Oh, I did what I tell my customers not to do. I squished it. No squishing. So we'll just stamp like that. Perfect. Okay, let me shut this because it never fails. You wear ink. And this is the Timeless Label. I don't know if this is, um, this might be retired. I'm not sure. If it is, I apologize. So I'm just going to uh, try to line that up. I think that looks good and we'll punch that out and then we will pop this up on dimensionals and get a whoopsie move my thing around all right and my scissors hang on a second i have i have more than one pack of dimensionals but i'm, I'm going to cut the edges <laughs> have not don't want to waste your stuff here right and we'll put that right there okay and then we're just going to add our sentiment to the bottom off, I think I'm going to put it off to the side. We can get this thing off here. All right, and this says, uh, know that you are loved. And we'll place that, how about if I place it like right about here? That's what I did on the other one. What if we do it centered? Nah, I think I'm going to do off, off centered. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I do like that with the yellow. I think that is absolutely stunning. I love this. This flower is going to be a hit. I'm telling you, it's going to be a hit. All right. This is our box for the evening, and it's a nice size box, and this one has, this is the different, this one I did in Early Espresso and one of the other new in, um, designer series papers, and I don't remember the name of that one. So there's our two boxes. Aren't those pretty? I just love these. And then our turtle card that we made using, I really like him with this just uh, jade. I really like that color. And then our fun fold here with our little flap and our sentiment on the inside. There you go. There are your two projects for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed these. Please make sure that you um, leave a comment and share my video, and then I will draw names um, for next week. I forgot um, to mention, I drew the name. This week was uh, Diana, 
Dennis Salk. She's out, one of my customers who moved to Arizona. So, Diana, I got your address. I'll go ahead and put something in the mail to you um, tomorrow or the next day. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Let me move the camera. I'll let you look back at myself. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and spending some crafting time with me. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy doing this. And if there's any kind of folds or anything else that you would like to see, I'll be more than happy. Just uh, send me a message and I'll be more than happy to um, see if I can find something that we can put together. So until next week, have a good weekend. A week, good weekend. Stay safe. Wash your hands a lot. <laughs> okay. Thanks again, everyone. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.